Okay, hello, hello, people of the internet. I hope you're doing well. I wanted to talk with you today about uh, web browser-based editing softwares. So, why do we need web-based uh, editing softwares? Um, if you guys are traveling, if you guys are um, trying to utilize some time or anything like that, and you don't have your computer, you don't want to carry drives around there's actually a lot of options out in the web i kind of went through all of them so i wanted to share the information what works what doesn't what works with what browser etc i'm not gonna do like a first place second place kind of thing i'm just gonna like tell you like what did i learn about each one of the platforms uh because different platforms will be good or better for different needs and um yeah you kind of like want to edit on the fly so i had the need for something like that and i kind of like researched deeply through everything that is available on the web and the market so i hope this all thing will be useful for you uh and let's start so the platform that i found the best for my needs um it is flexier this name if you uh, see it i have it on a different browser let's this website um what i really like about it and what's like good is that it's working it's caring and it's also caring if you're um don't have access to like a best browser type of thing so this thing is working really really well um it is designed for video editors, um, so it's not necessarily more of like plug and play. You can do everything over here, um, and it just carries. So I kind of like ended up using this. You have um, timelines, um, and over here you can see like the audio is attached to the video, and you can go over here and detach it. If I'm gonna move my face here. Um, which is really good. Um, you have uh, also the prices. I forgot what it was right now, but it's not like it's around the 20 bucks or something for and you pay for the storage and the time that you export. Also something that is very, very, very valuable. Yeah, export timeline, which means that this will export as an XML, which means that you don't have to either re-edit everything at home. Because if you see over here, I put like the time code and the name of the file so I can kind of like see the cut and then like cut based on that. But now that the uh, XML option is possible, so I'm just exporting as XML and then relinking it in Premiere in my home and then exporting it on 4K or whatever it is that you're editing on. So really, really great software. Highly recommended. Next, I want to talk about. Uh, I'm gonna have problems today with pronouncing names. Um, AXL Edit. Um, I actually, um, the people over there were also really nice. I asked them a question and they gave me a demo. Um, this is, I would say, more of a professional um, editing suite. Um, you have all of like file organization over here so you can put the files and this is like the editing area which you can see you can have it like magnetic not magnetic they have all the tools um, something that is very 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 valuable you are able they have an AI installed over here and you're able to search for words in your search um, and it will look for it in the audio and video so means that like so many times I was like you're looking for the audio of something and you don't know where it is so you can just like type the words and this thing will pop it up um, their monthly subscription I think was 10 bucks for a person per user which is also really really great um, you also have effects and transitions over here and it's also supporting exporting in XML um, which means that you can move it to Premiere or Resolve or whatever it is that you're editing on really really great um but but i found that the workspace doesn't work if your um internet connection is not private meaning if you're like in the computer in the university or something like that so not gonna work for that uh but the flexier i think that's the name well so really really great thing to know 
Um, the third one, when we're talking about more of like professional um, editing software, is Move Movely. <laughs> the names today. Um, they have lots of templates, which is also really great if you're looking to make something specific. Everything is modifiable. I thought that it's the most professional, um, other than like the other one that I just showed you. Like it's very, very professional. Um, also, the play is great. Uh, Flexier, the play was a little bit like kind of it carries, but it's also found that um, if you're trying to like sync different like audios on top of different videos. It will be slow, it will be choppy. So, Movely, none of that. And it will work on any computer or any browser. The problem is that, uh, oh, I saw that they have a little promotion, but like I found their pricing to be outrageous. Um, like, if I'm looking for this kind of product, I'm not looking to pay this kind of money. Um, which is why I didn't go with them. Um, but other than that, great software. Um, so now let's move into stuff that are more social media. Um, I found that CupCut, that's something I can pronounce, um, is doing a really, really great job. Um, it does work on every computer and the play is somewhat slow if you're not on a good browser or you're not on your own private computer, but you can make things happen over here. Um, and the templates over here are also really great for creating social media stuff. As you can see over here, you have a bunch of templates, but the templates are not modifiable. So it means that you kind of like drag and drop your content and that's it. Like you can uh, like crop it here and there or like select the timing, but that's pretty much it. Um, so again, cool software. Um, I think that I used the free version of this one. So you can get around even on the free version over here. This lovely platform, uh, Cledio, which is also a funny name. I also find it to be very professional, very great. Um, a lot to do over here, but um, I could not make it work on a um, non-private computer. Um, but if you're traveling on your laptop and want to upload a bunch of footage and edit, that can be a really cool option too. I did find that like Flexier or Movely or um, the XL, AL, AXL Edit are doing a better job. Uh, lastly, not lastly, I have another one, Veed. Also looked very promising, looked very promising for um, social media stuff mainly, not necessarily that kind of like high-end video, um, but you have to be able to connect to your either Google or Apple in order to log in, meaning that if you set up a password and you're like log in with your email and on a different computer that's not yours, like again, a computer in the university or something, not going to work. Another option that I wanted to mention is Canva. Canva obviously is very famous, very popular. Um, Canva Pro, you can do a lot of things with it. Again, it's more catered for social media stuff, more like YouTube, Instagram, TikTok kind of feel. Um, but I also found that uh, it was at least very difficult to log in from a computer that is not private. Yeah, and you kind of want like a good browser and a good Wi-Fi connection in order to run this. Uh, but again, really great option. Another option that I wanted to mention is, um, and this is for free, and this is also really awesome. Uh, Google Chrome has a remote control desktop. So if you are connected to your Google account from the computer you want to control and the computer you're working on. So you have to be able to connect with your Google account. Within a click, you're in your home computer. And as long as your internet connection is good in both places, that thing carried. I, I was able to edit from Premiere like good scenes just this way. Um, as you can see right now, my internet is not perfect. So it's a little slow, but it's pretty good. Um, the one thing that you do need to know and remember is on the computer that you are connecting to, make sure to have the browser not small. 
and on the whole screen unless it's just going to show you the sliver which the window is open and you won't be able to do anything so that's important but again really great option this is not moving anywhere so i'm just going to go out but like again it's not moving because of my internet right now it's it, it's great um and free another cute little software platform that i want to mention is this one online video cutter um it's cute it it's again like you can make things happen you can edit video it's built like a video editing software uh, but um, it's just a one thing so it means that you can come in you upload your files and you edit you can't save and you can't save on the cloud so it's not like uh, flexier which like you upload your footage at home for example here it is you upload your footage at home and then you log in from wherever it is from whatever computer it is and it's there and you can edit so this online cutter is just like from whatever files you have on a computer right now so it can be a really cute option if you're like that yeah, i just need to get this done where can i go into this browser edit and export and you'll be golden um obviously obviously also premiere um, I'm sure that Resolves has that too, but like I looked more into the Premiere option. Um, remote, con basically working remotely. Um, it's more built for if you're working a few editors on the same project, then you want to upload it and download the version and you need to set it up. I'm sure that you can find other tutorials for that. But again, it wasn't answering for my need. I needed something more like on the fly. I'm here, I'm there, I'm on this computer, I'm on that computer. I want to utilize my time. So yeah, that was kind of like a overall on like all the options that you have available online. I hope that you guys will utilize your time to create wonderful things. Um, and yeah, I will leave links to all of those platforms below. So, um, but yeah, if you find something different, something better, something that you want to say, leave it on the comments below so other people can see it. So, you know, we can all support one another in our creative adventures. Thank you so much. Hope it helped and see you soon.